Hi guys, in this video we're gonna be talking about passive aggression. What is this, how do people become passive aggressors and how to deal with them? Let's get started. So first of all, let's figure out how do passive aggressors behave. A person is a passive aggressor if he or she tends to procrastinate, to postpone the work until it's too late to meet the deadlines, does not fulfill the promises, forgets what was agreed upon, avoids emotional intimacy, always denies his fault, turns everything upside down, making the partner guilty, can't clearly express his emotions and feelings, behaves contradictory. For example, he says that he loves you, however, his behavior is completely opposite, never apologizes. Now, let's get more deeply into this topic and follow the origins of passive aggression. The word passive comes from Latin and initially means the one who suffers. In most cases, the reason of passive aggression is a fear. It can be fear to become dependent on someone, a fear to be ignored or rejected, fear of close emotional contact or even a fear of own emotions. Such fear creates a protective reaction, holding an emotional distance, avoiding close contact. When a child is afraid of something, he begins to cry, runs away and tries to hide. An adult behaves almost in the same way, just puts it in a more decent form. The main aim of any passive aggressor is to avoid close connection, but at the same time to hide this intention, not to be accused of it. A passive aggressor actually wants to become close with someone, just like most of us. However, a fear to become dependent is more strong than the need for love. Desire plus fear – this is the formula for such a passive behavior. The main effect of passive aggression is lack of trust in the partner. He has a fear of rejection and shame for wanting to be loved and respected. Now I'm gonna share with you four strategies of effective interaction with passive aggressors. First of all, you need to figure out the signals of passive-aggressive behavior in advance, such as ignoring other people, failing to fulfill the promises, avoiding problems discussion. Second, do not give in to provocations. The subconscious goal of a passive aggressor is to drive you crazy. If you feel that you start to boil, try to calmly express your negative emotion. For example, you can say, I will not scream, because this will only aggravate the situation. Third, tell the passive aggressor about the anger they feel. Such people ignore this particular emotion. Your opinion should be confirmed by a concrete fact. For example, I think you're angry with me now because I asked you to do this and that. Fourth, accept resistance. Your goal is to externally show the anger that a passive aggressor shows deeply inside. But as soon as you indicate the presence of this emotion, the passive aggressor will start to deny it. As soon as he does, say something like, well, I just felt this way and wanted to share my opinion with you. Do not argue and do not prove anything. You can close this topic at this time, but the partner will understand. You treat his emotions respectfully and calmly, and perhaps he will soon cease to hide them. This was all for today. Let me know in the comment section below if you want to know more about passive aggression and how to cope with it. I hope this video was useful for you and that I see you in the next one.